Okay, Dan, so for our final honoree, we have Ryan Reynolds from Home Central, and they're based in Owego, New York. Yeah, and, and you know, uh, again, at this point in the evening, we see there there's a theme in that a lot of these uh, young retailer honorees have similar kind of paths to how they got there. And Ryan's another guy that just started working in the store when he was younger and maybe no ambitions of, of growing into a career in hardware retailing. But that quickly changed as he learned more about the uh, business. He eventually, uh, Home Central has three locations, he eventually started managing one of those locations and he dove in and he started trying to figure out, you know, how can we improve all of the different areas. And one of the areas they focused on was the paint department. And, and that became across all three locations. And he was able to double paint sales by focusing on how can we do a better job mm -hmm. with this in just five years. And and that really kind of caught the attention uh, of, of the owners of the business who yeah. said, you know, th th this this young guy has a, has a strong future here. And now he manages all three locations mm -hmm. and, uh, and has found some of those same opportunities to grow really across all those uh, locations and, and and one of the things they did was one of one of the play, uh, one of the shops was located in a small feed mill and, and they saw that this is an area where where we're kind of restrained by our surroundings so we need to find a new facility and they decided to build one from the ground up and what they were able to do with that facility is grow it into something that was highly successful mm -hmm. but at the same time, uh, his has not just necessarily been a normal story of success and kind of a linear growth path because they've also faced some real challenges. Some challenges. Yeah, and, and it was back in February of 2020 where a fire really devastated one section of their uh, of uh, their lumber locations and, and, and really caused them to have to address how do we rebuild this business mm -hmm. and how do we deal with that? And that was, as we all know, February 2020 <laughs> was also at the start of another disruptor in challenge. this industry and the, the, right. the big challenge was uh, COVID and, and some of the things, you know, they, they actually had to uh, decide it made the decision to shut down one of their locations for a period of time during COVID, but they were able to keep those displaced staff members employed and, and, and really kind of keep the operation going. And, and they created, you know, they do a lot of outside sales. So they created a showroom for their outside salespeople so they could still kind of get their product staged and get mm -hmm. them delivered and, and, and really kind of keep that area of the business functioning. And so so uh, even despite all these challenges, they've come out the other side of all this, a strong company seeing growth and reporting growth. And I will give you begrudgingly yet another plug here is because just so happens that Ryan was also did. That's a graduate of the retail management certification mm -hmm. program. So, so what was his journey in that? What was, uh, wh how long ago was that? That was back in 2016. 2016. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it has been a while and it was great to reconnect with Ryan when I uh, called him to say that he would be an honoree this year. Yeah, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah, and and I will point out that it's interesting. This is the third RMCP graduate to be honored mm -hmm. this year. So I think, again, there's another, there's kind of another uh, pattern here where people who are really passionate about growing their career in retailing see RMCP as a pathway to learn more, to make better connections. And, and you know, it's kind of a chicken and egg thing um, is that are the people recognizing that this kind of program can help them or is this a program kind of kind of it help them get there, people, get, get yeah. a, you know, mm -hmm. and either way, it's it's becoming more of a pattern. And, yeah. and, and Ryan Reynolds is a great example of someone who really put the knowledge they learned in RMCP uh, uh, into practice and was able to grow the business. So congratulations to Ryan.